Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Love by Chitanas Nore and today we're going to review the Infinity Note Fan Edition ROM for the Galaxy Note 5 which has been ported for the Galaxy S6 and the S6 Edge and which is going to review this and it is a good looking and an amazing ROM so before we get started I would just like to say if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to share the video and once again don't forget to subscribe to the channel and help us reach our goal of 1000 subscribers really soon. So let's get into it so guys this is a ROM ported from the Note FE which is the fan edition the Galaxy Note fan edition so it is the newest phone that Samsung came out with so it has been ported from that so the ROM looks very similar to the S8 because from now on the whole UI of all Samsung's upcoming devices will be near to this only. And don't get me wrong, I love it. I really love this UI. It is so simple and it looks just amazing. It is, you know, more elegant than before than it used to be. And first of all, guys, don't be fooled by the Volti logo in the status bar over here. And the ROM does not come with the fixed Volti E. The ROM does not even come with the Indian CSE or the Indian modem and the Volti is working due to a fix that I have already made a video about it so if you want a working Volti like me just follow the video and link to the video will be right over here just follow the video and you will get the working Volti don't worry about it so when you first install the ROM everything is really really small so what you wanna do is you're gonna go into the settings and enable the developers options and to do that you're just gonna go into the about phone and we're gonna go in the software information and just tap on the bill number until you have this over here developer mode has been already turned on and we're gonna go back and we're gonna go in developers options and you're gonna go far down to drawing over here and you're gonna change the minimum width to 4 one one dp so that will fix all your problems and it will look normal like it does and if you want go ahead and reduce the animation scale too because i always recommend it and it makes your device look much faster than it is so right now as you can see my device looks really fast so that is because of that back to the home screen the rom seems pretty fast and with no lag anywhere and it is surprisingly fast and as you can see it is surprisingly fast you have no delays anywhere and it just goes fast and quick everywhere so you have all the edge features from the node fe i guess and all the edge features work and you also have the bixby over here and i just wish that the, the bixby voice comes to more of the custom roms or the original firmware really soon and I want to use the Bixby voice and I have seen that it is amazing and I'm trying to find a way to get the Bixby voice on any custom ROM on the S6 Edge and as soon as I get a way I'll post a video about it you have all the things that you need and you have something legendary on this ROM that is the Google Assistant I really love the Google Assistant and it works on it so that is just amazing so moving on to the application drawer with just a simple quick and easy swipe you have Samsung apps, apps and a couple of extra app that does not come with the Samsung or that is that so first of all you have the camera application which is really important to review so the camera application is just like any other camera application that is uh, new out there it is uh, like the s8 one you have the zoom over here with this and you have all the camera modes over here so you have ton of camera modes but the augmented reality this uh, snapchat filters do not work so that is the problem with these camera applications that have been ported from the s8 and 
in all of the custom ROMs that I've seen and none of them work the augmented reality snapchat filter so that is that so you have one new application called audio control over here and it has all the different audio applications in it like the beats audio dolby atmos and my favorite wiper for android but the beats audio just seem to show an empty activity and it is just nothing and nothing pops up over here and, and you can back from it it just gets stuck over here so you have to go to the home screen and close the application and that is not working but the wiper for android is working and it is my favorite and you do need to install the driver so press yes over here and select the driver that you want to install i go with the super high quality so back to the app drawer you have the newest magic over here with the safety net so you can use as much snapchat as you want so safety net is a success so use snapchat and it will perfectly work so then you have an app called spectrum which comes with the kernel reinstalled and it is used for different modes like performance balance and all so i keep it on battery to conserve my battery life moving on to the settings and you have that separate audio feature that i think is really cool so it is a really cool feature you can have separate audio coming from separate devices like you have uh, audio coming from and certain application to your bluetooth speaker and the audio coming from other application from your mobile device so that is just amazing and cool feature to me and in the display settings over here you have the working blue light filter and it is one of my favorite features because it really helps you at night and does not get your eyes strained and you also can change the display resolution so i set it to full hd and i can't really tell any difference between the qhd and the fhd so i do it to conserve a little bit of battery life i think it might help with the battery life and the always on display works too so if i can show you that over here i just turn on the always on display and it works so i really like the always on display but on the galaxy s6 edge it is not that efficient because it takes up a bit of battery life and it is not that power efficient right now in the s6 edge and all the advanced features seem to work with all the games feature and all and they all seem to work and also you have dual messenger feature over here so i really love this feature so what it does it it allows you to use two uh, different accounts on applications like whatsapp so you can have two different accounts of phone numbers you know running on the same device so that is a crazy cool feature so let's talk about the battery life now and i think that the battery life is okay and it is not that great but it will last you a whole day i think and it is giving me a okay battery life and it is not that great i would say so uh, coming back and you have all the power saving mode and the maximum power saving mode is just my favorite i have gotten a great battery life with the max power saving mode and it is just amazing so let's go into the about device and you have the model number of the note fan edition i guess and you have the device name as the galaxy note fan edition and moving into the software information you have the android version 7.0 and samsung experience version 8.1 so that is a great thing too so at last i would just like to say that the rom is just amazing and i would definitely recommend it for the daily usage and i would just encourage you to try and use this rom because i have really liked this rom uh, the rom is fast and quick and there's no lag and you get a okay battery life it can easily last you a day and it is a really great rom so i think that's it if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to share the video and thanks for watching guys